Force and Motion. Wow. I'm okay. How does an avalanche occur? What sets things in motion? What causes motion and what stops it? Forces. A push, a stretch, a pitch, the attraction of a magnet, a touch, all these are forces. A force is a push or attraction exercised by one object upon another. As the force of the wind on the blades of a windmill, the attraction between two magnets, an ox pulling a wagon, or your foot kicking a ball. A force would not exist by itself because it is an interaction. What this means is that it depends on the relationship between various objects. Ah! All the things that surround us exert forces on each other. And this is constantly happening. Some forces act in tiny things, such as those joining the water molecules to form a drop. And other forces act on humongous things, such as those governing the motion of the planets. Forces affect the shape and motion of all things. They can trigger the movement of an object, speed it up, change its trajectory, stop it, or just keep it still. Forces can do that through contact, when objects touch each other, but they can also do it at a distance, such as in magnetism, electricity, or the force that keeps us glued to the ground. Do you know which force that is? Every time something moves or changes its shape, there are forces at work, and when nothing changes, forces are at work too, offsetting or overriding each other. Hmm, and what forces would cause an avalanche? Oh, okay. Did you know that right now there are forces at work around you, keeping you still? Or are you actually moving?